Here are five of the most expensive watches ever sold at auction. Let's start with number five. Patek Philippe 1518, worn by Prince Mohammed of Egypt, and it sold for $9.5 million in 2021. Uh, this watch was one of the first perpetual calendars uh, wristwatches that was mass produced and it was around World War II. Obviously this watch in particular is important again because it was worn by Prince Mohammed of Egypt who uh, is known for founding modern Egypt. You know you have a Patek Philippe, you have a, one of the first mass produced uh, perpetual calendars and on top of that it was worn by a very famous prince so you get the fifth most expensive watch ever sold at auction number four is another Patek Philippe 1518 only this time this watch sold for over 11 million dollars in 2016 now what makes this watch so special is that it actually was made in stainless steel. Most of all the other ones were made in precious metals. Only four are known to exist in stainless steel. Believe it or not, it sold for more because of how rare it is. Again, it's the perpetual calendar. It is uh, produced around World War II, uh, one of the first mass produced perpetual calendars. I know I just said that. Uh, but again, only four of these are known to exist. And it is so rare that the Patek Philippe Museum doesn't even have one. Again, only four are known to exist, and that is why it is number four. Well, actually, that's just a coincidence, but it is number four on the list. Number three on the list is the only Rolex on the list, and it is the Rolex Reference 6239 Daytona, also known as the Paul Newman. Uh, as we know, anything associated with the Rolex Daytona and Paul Newman is going to be expensive, but this watch in particular actually was worn by Paul Newman, and it was the watch that basically gave the name the Paul Newman Daytona. So it is the most famous Daytona of all time, and it sold in 2017 for over 17 million dollars and that is why it is number three on the list number two on the list is the Patek Philippe Henry Graves super complication reference number right here this is the most complicated pocket watch any watch of all time with so many complications it's insane uh, you have a chronograph, you have two power reserves, you have the constellations that could show you the day, the date, sunrise, sunset. It's, it's a minute repeater. Uh, it has a bunch of chimes. I mean, this watch is so complicated that it actually took seven years to make one. <laughs> Literally, I mean, it's actually the only one in existence. Anyway, this watch is super, super famous, and it sold in 2014 for $24 million. Again, this is the most complicated watch ever made. Seven years to make, $24 million, and that's why it's number two on the list of the most expensive watches ever sold. Lastly, number one on our list is another Patek Philippe. This happens to be the Grandmaster Chime, reference number right here, way too long for me to remember. And this watch is actually pretty modern. It was produced in 2019. Uh, they typically go for one and a half million, or I should say MSRP was about one and a half million. They go on the secondary market between six million uh, and seven million. And during the peak hype by uh, COVID and all that, they were going for about 10 million, but now they're back at six to seven million. Uh, but anyway, what makes this watch so special is that it is the only one in the world produced in stainless steel, kind of like the one we were talking about before where only four of them were made in stainless steel. This is the only one made in stainless steel. It was bought by a collector and uh, he really wanted it so badly. He was one of the only bidders on this auction and it sold for a whopping 31 million dollars 
$31 million for a wristwatch. Again, it's the only one in the world in stainless steel. And to be honest with you, I think that if he were to auction this off today, he would probably make more. That auction was in 2019. Uh, it's been about five years since that happened, five, six years. So in my personal opinion, I think that he could actually uh, make more on his investment. I actually think that if any watch is going to sell for more than that, it's going to be the exact same watch. Uh, let me know in the comments what watch you think is going to sell next for uh, the highest price at auction. And uh, also, if you noticed, four of the five watches were Patek Philippe's and only one was a Rolex. So talk about prestige of a brand and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I mean, put your favorite brand in the comments. Just throw it down there. Why not? But until next time, peace.